Hey there, and welcome to Skin Retouching, Section 6. This is Dodging and Burning. All right, we're going to be using Flurn Retouch 9 for this image. You can export it out of Lightroom as a TIFF if you'd like, or use the JPEG that we're providing. All right, let's go ahead and full screen this image and start off with a couple like little blemish removal. All right, basically we're just going to be grabbing the spot healing brush tool, and I'm going to paint over just a couple of these things here. This is how we start pretty much every face retouch with just a little bit of blemish removal. So we're going to do it here as well. All right, just to get these little things out of the way, then we'll jump right into dodging and burning. All right. Looking great. And she has amazing skin. So not a whole lot of work to do here. All right. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much all that I'm going to do to take care of this. Okay, now dodging and burning is basically lightening an area of the photo and darkening a different area of the photo. And there are a lot of ways to do it, and there are a lot of different techniques, and we're going to be going over my favorite techniques, as well as using the actions that are included with your download. So let's go ahead and get to the actions. We're going to go to Window and down to Actions. Okay. Now, if you've already loaded the Flurn retouching action, you're going to see Flurn Dodge and Burn Darks and Flurn Dodge and Burn Lights. If you haven't loaded the retouching action, go ahead to this menu, go down to where you see Load Actions, and then go to your Getting Started folder, your Actions, and then double click on Flurn Retouching.atn. It's going to open up right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and run our Flurn Dodge and Burn Darks. Let's go ahead and hit play there. All right, it says, Flurn Dodge and Burn is special. We separate the larks, lights and darks to make editing easier and more realistic. Paint black on this layer over shadows to burn. All right, cool. Now let's click on our lights and hit play. Flurn Dodge and Burn is special. <laughs> Paint white on this light layer over highlights to dodge. Okay, so we have our lights and our darks. Now, basically these, are, these layers are using Blend If to make sure that the lights, for instance, only affect the lighter areas and that the darks only affect the darker areas. So let's go ahead and give a shot with our lights. Basically what I want to do, we're going to use one of our retouching brushes. Let's go to this Florin retouching brush here. Yeah, let's start one off with a size 200. My goal here is to basically make our highlights a little bit brighter and our shadows a little bit darker to dodge and burn. Or if you'd like to make your shadows lighter and your highlights darker, you can do that with dodging and burning as well. So let's start off with our lights. We're going to paint white on this layer, just like it told us to. So I'm going to go ahead and choose white as my foreground color. And I'm going to choose a flow of 10%. Okay. Now, basically, I'm going to just paint over the lighter areas or areas I want to be a little bit lighter. So like in this, for instance, I want that to be a little bit lighter there. All right. I'm going to paint over detail here in her arm. All right, let's bring our flow up a little bit higher. There we go. And I'm kind of trying to follow the natural highlights that already exist in the image. Basically, what we're doing is we are adding contrast in this image. We're increasing the brightness of the highlights and we're making the shadows a little bit darker. So for instance, all this collarbone and up to here, that's all going to get painted white. So we're going to paint over here. I'm going to make my brush a little bit smaller and then we're going to start painting up here. All right. And this you want to be like a kind of slow, gradual process. This is not something where you go like totally gung ho with it and just paint it everywhere. Again, the point here is to add like definition and interest into a photo, not just make the whole thing lighter and or darker. All right. Cool. If you have a portrait like this with some body visible, I would recommend starting off with the body. Just makes things a little bit easier. You'll get a little bit more used to the tool. And then when you're ready, you can start going on to the face. So basically, I've just painted white on this layer, which is exactly what the action instructed me to do. So let's see what that did. Let's make this invisible and back visible again. There we go. You can see it's really adding a lot of interest to this image. Now, if you don't like something, just hit E for the eraser tool and go ahead and erase it away. And then you can paint back white on it if you want. 
All right, so we're going to be painting over her cheekbones here, evening some of the skin out on her forehead. Now you can use dodging and burning in combination with a lot of other techniques here, guys. It's not like, hey, you can only use dodging and burning, and then you're done. Like you can use any of these techniques in combination with each other, and most of the time, I do use most of these techniques in combination with each other. And when we get to the complete retouches, the full edits here in a couple of sections, you'll see that we will in fact be using all these techniques combined together. All right, we'll lighten up over here on the top of the chin a little bit. That looks good. All right. That looks good as well. A little bit above the mouth here. The nose is already quite light. All right. Cool, looking pretty good. So again, this is just the lights in the image. If it's too much, simply lower the opacity. Now we're gonna paint some darks. This is going to be burning. So the darks, we're gonna kind of start to come in here. Darker areas on the cheek. Paint some of this under the lips here. All right. And if an area is too light in general, you can just run this on there. Like her nose is just a little bit too light. I'm just running the dark right on there. All right, we're gonna paint under her neck just a little bit darker, give that more contrast. All right, let's go ahead and darken that down, darken down the bottom of her clavicle. So you can see we can basically sculpt out shapes using dodging and burning. I can add more definition to an arm. We can reduce the brightness of a highlight if we like. All with light and dark. I mean, if you think about it, that's like how light works, right? Like <laughs> light catches the top part of a shape and doesn't the bottom. So if like I wanted to really <laughs> make that look like a bulge, I just paint black right underneath that, and then we completely change the shape of that area, right? And it looks totally natural. I mean, that doesn't look like a human, but it looks like a photo. And that's kind of the whole idea here, is dodging and burning really does a great job allowing you to change the structure of a photo and draw attention to certain areas that you'd like. All right, so for instance, we can really do a nice job carving those cheeks out. All righty, cool. Let's go back to our whites. And now we're gonna paint with white over top of some of these areas just to kind of even out some of the differences between highlights and shadows. All right. And if you find yourself at a place where you're like, I want more, um, simply create a new layer, change the layer blend mode from normal down to soft light, and then you can paint with light or dark on that layer, and that will continue to dodge and burn your image. All right, let's create a new layer. We'll change this from normal down to soft light. And now I'm gonna paint with black on, on her forehead, just to darken this down just a little bit. There we go. And keep in mind, this image was not really retouched at all um, before we started. So all the, well, actually we did do a little bit with like skin blemishes and things like that. But for the most part, this image, like we didn't do any sampling and painting or anything like that. Now these darks are a little bit too dark. So we're just gonna lower the opacity of that layer. All right, well, let's go ahead and paint some lights here on her hair. Bring that highlight out. All right. And do the same thing with her eyes there. All right, so dodging and burning again is for like basically enhancing shape. Anything you wanna draw out, like call more attention to rather, that's where you can use dodging and burning. So if I want her lip to be a little bit brighter, I can do that. 
paint that on the top section there so we can see the before and the after with that. All right. Cool. There we go. I think we're looking great. All right, this one's a little bit too much, so we're gonna lower the opacity on that one as well. All right, and this in combination with other techniques really can do wonders on your images. Okay, let's just do a little bit. We're gonna group all those together and see the before and the after. So there's a the before and the after. Dodging and burning. Awesome. All right, guys, we're going to do one more example. I'm going to hit Control or Command O. We're going to go ahead and open Flurm Retouch 3. There we go. And full screen this out. All right. So now our dodging and burning, instead of using the uh, actions that were included, we're actually just going to use a couple of curves. So we're going to use one curve. I'm going to pull this down a little bit. And I'm going to create another curves adjustment layer. And we're going to pull that up a little bit. So anywhere I want to be brighter, I will paint white on this layer mask and darker, I will paint white on this layer mask. So this is darker and this is lighter. Just to show you guys that there are like a lot of ways to do dodging and burning. It's not just like, oh, we have to use this method here and you know, included, you can use really any method that you want. All right, so that's why I wanna show you guys multiple examples. All right, so again, this is lighter. I'm painting white on my layer mask where I want these areas to be lighter. All right, get a little bit more definition here. A little bit more on the cheek. Beautiful. And you can tr smooth out transitions in skin as well. Like for instance, this part of the nose gets a little too dark in my opinion. So I'm just gonna paint with my white paintbrush right over top of there. There we go. And that's just gonna lighten it up a little bit, which makes the transition a little bit more smooth. Paint a little bit of light here on the lip. Very, very nice. All right. So this is dodging when you're making things a little bit lighter. All right, let's see the before and the after with that one. Really nice. Cool. Now let's go in here with the burning and we'll make things a little bit darker. Maybe under the chin usually looks really nice. Give it a nice defined separation from the rest of the face. Okay, we'll do a little under the nose. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna kind of go in here and add a little bit more definition with our burning. Darken these areas down just a little bit. Okay, cool. And you can even dodge and burn clothing, which in my opinion is actually a great use of dodging and burning because clothing is not really that like <laughs> hard to do. Like you don't have to, a face you got to kind of worry about messing it up. Uh, clothes in my experience are pretty dang easy to like oh that's a highlight right there I'll just paint right over the top of that yeah that, that looks good there cool I'm done um, that's pretty much dodging and burning on clothes all right beautiful cool and let's go ahead and paint around the eyes just to lighten those up on the teeth just to lighten those up as well okay and now let's take a look at our before and the after we're just using curves adjustment layers. So here's our before and our after. That's really, really great. So as you can imagine, dodging and burning used in combination with other retouching techniques can really add a lot of life 
to your images. You see how the focus is much more on the eyes of the subject now? We've really done a great job shifting that focus and smoothing the skin using dodging and burning at the same time. All right, guys, that's the end of this section. We'll see you soon.